people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Villarreal reporting for Conservative New Media. Conservative New Media, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal for Conservative New Media and for the John D. Villarreal Syndicated Radio Show. Now we're here with a man that needs no introduction, Dave Batista and Caesar Gracie. Now, Caesar, dude, you're the man, baby. You got all these champions and everything like that. What's going on? I've uh, just been blessed to have good guys on the team. That's about it. That's crazy. I love it. Now, first of all, i got to get your prediction. I know you're, he's your boy, Nick Diaz, but the fight tomorrow, what do you think is going to go down? I'm picking Nick probably by ground and pound or submission by a round three. So he's going to take it down because last time I think he maybe got sucked into that standing war a little bit, and that was the problem. Yeah, Nick was actually, is actually a lot better stand-up guy than that, but the weight cut I think really hurt him last time. We're going to see him, you know, at his best tomorrow night. I like that. Now, no one can ever say that MMA guys don't have style. I mean, look at this and the shades and the whole situation. Dude, I love this. This is GQ, bro. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, wait a minute. You got the big boy here. This is the guy that came over from Rusty. Now, a lot of professional wrestlers and regular wrestlers are having a lot of success in MMA. What do you attribute that to? Just athleticism, working with your body. A lot of those guys wrestled back, back in the day in high school or college, and uh, you know they're strong and they just know how to you know work with their body and so forth. What do you see in Dave? Good looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't hurt, right? A little marketability. I'll take it. <laughs> right now, I was saying off the air here that I loved your last run here uh, in the WWE against Cena. You playing the heel and doing the whole thing. I think it was brilliant. Are you going to bring that kind of showmanship? Sort of like what Brock's done, along with the athletic ability to the ring. Uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, some of it will follow me. That's just kind of who I am. I'm a very intense person. I, I imagine I'll be in very, very intense in the cage, but, you know, yeah. Why MMA? What, 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 what makes you want to do this? This is real deal. I'm just, you know, wrestling took a direction that I didn't like, and, uh, you know, I'm a, a big fan, and uh, I'm a fighter at heart, and I'm a physical guy. And I figured, fig, you know, I figured uh, I'd, I'd like to get a few fights in before. Now I got to ask you about the train. I was a four-time national champion powerlifter. I'm nowhere near as big as this. What kind of weights do you lift, bro? Uh, I actually don't do much weightlifting these days, man. No. What's your best lift? Your best bench? People want to know. <laughs> five over five. Wow, dude, that's a lot of weight, dude. Okay, now wait a minute. Bobby Lashley, what happened? He lost. <laughs> I saw. I know. I saw the fight. But I mean, do you do you want to face him? Do you still want to face him? Who who are the people that you want to face? Well, I don't know, man. I'm gonna you know let Caesar uh, handle all that for me and make the deal with Strike Force, and I'm gonna pretty much just follow his guidance. And uh, Caesar, I mean, who do you see out there? Do you see a Bobby Lashley? Do you see a Bob Sapp? Do you see maybe uh, Herschel if he wanted to move to the weight class? I mean, what what, what fights do you think are attractive for Dave right now? There's a lot of good fights out there. Obviously, you know, Bobby Lashley had a setback, but, you know, that happens in the fight world. He can come back and put a win together, whatever it takes. You know, we're going to sit down with Strikeforce. we got a meeting tonight, and uh, we're going to see what direction we're going to head in with them. So there's just a lot of good guys out there. Would you think about a Brett Rogers as a next fight after this one if it's successful? Well, you know, we're not going to say no to anybody or yes right now. You know, just that hasn't been presented. But, you know, when something like that comes up, that's, that's what we'll think about it. So let's talk fight game right now. Dave, what are your strengths? I mean, are you good with the striking? We know that you've done some different things out there. Are you better with the ground game? What are there things that we don't know about you right now? Uh, let's just say right now it's all it's all bad. <laughs> I love it. I, I love I love that. I think I think that's fantastic. So, what's your ultimate goal? Are we thinking about a heavyweight championship here? Is that realistic? You know, the ultimate goal is the first fight. So after you do the first fight, you got another goal, and that's you know. You move up yeah, each step at a time to get to the top of the ladder. You know, you don't think you know championship when you you get ready to do your first fight. So you just train as hard as you can. Uh, with Dave, you know, he's just a hard worker. So you take a hard worker like that, and you can teach him about anything. So now, what about what? When is this first fight? When when are you looking? I know you're sitting down with Strike Force. Would when would you like to have it? Uh, you know, obviously a few months out or something like that, but we're going to see where Strike Force wants to do that. Dave also has some commitments in the in the film world and everything, so we're going to look at scheduling and everything and go from there. Fantastic. Now, where is Dave? Are you, are you trained over in Pleasant Hill? Is there somewhere that we can uh, that's open to the public at some time, or, or is it all closed? Uh, it's not necessarily closed. You know, we just come in and train. It's in Pleasant Hill. There's some other schools, Dublin and so forth. I got top-notch trainers working with them. At the different schools, yeah. No, that is fantastic. So, Dave, thank you so much. We're excited to see you here. We're excited for your thank first you, match. Thank you, man. Yeah, thanks for having us. Anything that we want to know in closing here that you guys want to talk about, a promoter, something like that, for what we need to be looking for? 
Just uh, tomorrow night, Strike Force. You know, we got Nick Diaz, who's uh, Dave's teammate, and he's uh, defending his title. And the, and the website's graciefighter.com? graciefighter.com. Thank you. For Caesar Gracie, for Dave Batista, I'm John D. Villarreal reporting for Conservative New Media and the John D. Villarreal Syndicated Radio Show. Thank you very much.